I'm Steve Gruber, your soldier of truth, the tip of the spear against all lies here against America, ready to fight for you from the foxhole of freedom. And my friends, please remember to think, while it's still legal, this is the Steve Gruber Show. Thank you for being here. Number one on our list of the top three today, number one. While illegals continue to pour into the country with little difficulty, Democrat representatives, senators, and governors remain delusional of what the reality at the border is. Whatever happened to that promise Biden made during the debates in 2020, I would immediately, as president, surge at the border. Yeah, he can't surge anywhere. Number two, Oversight Committee Chair James Coburn continues to follow the money during his investigation, discovering Hunter Biden's bank wires from Chinese nationals. It listed Joe Biden's Delaware address. Oopsie. And number three, President Donald Trump visits Michigan to a packed house outlining his vision for the auto industry, his promise for a more prosperous future and eliminating EVs. I was there yesterday, and I can tell you there were a number of United Auto Workers Union members in attendance. Now, it was an invitation-only event at Drake Industries. Great place, by the way. They make uh, pieces for all of the big three, Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis, uh, shifters and uh, torque equipment, interesting stuff. And they've done it for a lot of years, since 1952, I believe, the company was started. And Donald Trump came there, and he came there with a message. Uh, but before it all started, I talked to several people outside. I want you to hear from some of the folks who were there. Young people, union members, others. And we'll start with bite number two. Uh, this young man at the rally says that Trump represents everyone, and that's why he, as somebody that's in that demographic of 35 and under, is with the president. Listen. Uh, you're a little bit younger than a lot of the folks here. Uh, you're a young supporter of Donald Trump. Why? Because he represents all of America, all of us. And just because of the, the strange trends going on these days for young people, the cool thing for young people is to like Trump because he's a conservative and he believes in all the things that people should believe in. He's, he's for babies. He's against illegal immigration. He's for the safety of our country. And he believes that everybody should be thriving and doing well. Um, if you've been to Trump rallies, you know it runs the gamut for the kind of people who are there. The richest people in suits and people who just got off the job. Everybody loves him. Yeah, and they're all standing there cheering him on because he represents everyone. Because he represents everyone is what he does. When you represent America, you don't just represent this group or that group. Speaking of being represented properly, Ramona was a woman I met in line. Uh, she was going, and in fact, she was one of the loudest people in the rally itself when the president was up there. That was a very intimate setting, different than a full-blown Trump rally, because again, it was invitation only. There were about 300 to maybe more like 400 people in the room, pretty good crowd, and very enthusiastic. They're on their feet pretty much the entire speech, which was about an hour, just a bit more. Ramona is a, a black woman from the Detroit area. She says she spends her time, she told me on the side, she spends her time walking in the worst neighborhoods of Detroit, shaking hands with people and saying, what have the Democrats ever done for you? Getting people registered to vote. She was remarkable. Here's Ramona, bite three, go. Ramona, why Donald Trump? Because he didn't have us hungry. He didn't, talking about laying people off, he kept the economy in order. The borders didn't look like they're crawling through the mud. He put a lock on the border. Your vice president's supposed to have the border. Did you see the border? If something happened to Mr. Biden, do you want her to run the country? I wouldn't want her to run the country. All them people she locked up over in, in uh, California, where she was the lead prosecutor. And these people that look like me just voted for her because she looked like me just like they did Obama Obama ain't do nothing for us she had a real problem with identity politics for good reason Ramona also talks about Bidenomics talks about the border how long it took her to get a passport but Joe Biden just letting everyone walk in illegally listen to this so let me ask you about one word the words Bidenomics no Trump Trump in 24, if we want to get out of this mess, it's sad. All these people coming over here, he feeding them, he giving them food stamps, which I don't get food stamps. 
He getting them places to stay. He getting them jobs. He giving them insurance. You talking about the poor people or the people coming over the border illegally? You know I'm talking about them damn people coming over the border, all that mud and stuff on them. And most of them men, you don't see, I seen one child. Most of them men that come over here to fight us. They over here in the United States. You know how long it took me to get a passport? From April to September the 15th. They wanted my kids' birth certificate. They wanted ID. They wanted my bills. Yeah, but these people coming over here without shit, And I couldn't even get a passport. Seems like she's a little fired up. I loved her. She was one of my favorites yesterday. And I met so many great people. Um, all backgrounds... But all worried about the same thing. All worried about this country and where we're going. All worried about this country and where we're going. Here's a construction worker I met, a sheet metal workers union retiree, commenting on Bidenomics, which seemed to be one of the themes. Look, it's not just about the strike at the UAW. It's about Bidenomics. It's about the economy. It's about where do we go from here. And he says when Republicans are in office, he's busy. He says right now, though, people are leaving his beloved state of Michigan and not looking back. Listen. And in this community, tell, I'm going to give you one word. We're going to play word association. You guys ready? Yeah. Right, we're going to play word association. Here's the word. Bidenomics. As a, as, a con, as a construction worker in the state of Michigan, um, I, belonged, I actually retired this month from a sheet metal workers union. And as a construction worker, I see that nobody's investing in Michigan right now. Um, there's no construction. Um, Any time that it seems that there's a Republican leadership, um, even in Michigan and at the national level, we have construction. We have construction booms, and I am working. I'm working overtime. And right now, um, that's not the issue. We, um, as a matter of fact, the governor of the state of Michigan has just formed a commission to try to figure out why we're losing so much population in Michigan. I can tell her why. It's because of her policies and people wanting to get away. People wanting to get away. And real quickly, I want to get to this gentleman next, uh, a former UAW member, Chrysler and Ford. What do UAW workers think about Donald Trump when they compare him to Joe Biden? Here it is. And let me ask you this. Obviously, Joe Biden came for 12 minutes. Very exciting. Wow, we spoke for 90 seconds. Auto workers in general, the management all supports Democrats, have my entire life. But I've been watching this migration away from Democrats to Donald Trump since 2015. What's the truth about the support for Donald Trump and the UAW? Great question. I'm glad you asked me that. I was a, a union member in, at Chrysler for 11 years and then at Ford for 25 years. I can tell you that the average worker on the f shop floor is a conservative. They, they want their gun rights protected. Most of them are against abortion. At least the men are. They believe in traditional family values. Uh, to a man and a woman raising their children. They don't like the government telling us what kind of vehicles we should drive. They don't like the government telling the, you know, the school boards, uh, telling the parents that they don't have any rights. So the average uh, worker on the shop floor, the UAW worker, is a conservative. And the demographics in a union don't break down much different than the demographics in the general population, Steve. I believe that is exactly right. When we come back after the break, we'll hear from Donald Trump and what he said last night in Michigan.